Many people are unaware that anyone can simply build a free online store for selling products using Canva and Stripe. Essentially, if you're looking to launch an online store but don't want to have to worry about expensive monthly subscriptions for an e-commerce website builder, then Canva is a fantastic free solution to help you get your online store off the ground. So today, my focus is to help you as a business owner create an online store, list your products, and start selling online in under 15 minutes. Okay, so with that out the way, let's go ahead and build your free online store with Canva. Now to arrive here at Canva and to build an online store for free, simply head over to your browser and type in canva.com or feel free to click on the link in the description below this video and that's going to take you here. Then navigate over to start designing and create a free Canva account. And once you've taken the time to create a free Canva account, I'll meet you inside your dashboard. Okay, so here we are inside our free Canva account. Now the first thing that we want to do is locate website templates. Simply navigate up to the search bar and type in website. And then locate this website option down here. And that's going to take us to these thousands of website templates. Okay, so take the time to look through some of these different website templates. Simply click on the template and then preview what that template looks like. Now it's important to note that some of these templates include paid elements, meaning that you will need to upgrade to Canva Pro in order to access and use these elements. Okay, so let's close out of this. And to quickly identify if a template is Pro, you'll notice a little crown icon in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, so I'm going to quickly locate a free online store template. To do that, we can navigate back up to the top and navigate over to these filtering options. Click on style, choose the style that you're after, as well as the theme. I'm going to select website, then navigate up to feature. I'm going to leave that as it is. And then price, we want to choose a free template and then we can select a color if we like. Again, go ahead and choose a template. I like the look of this one. So I'm going to click customize this template. And that's going to take you to this design interface. Now over on the left hand corner, you'll notice that design is selected. If we navigate over to the search bar, we can type in a specific website category that we want to create. For me, I want to create an online store for a jewelry business. So I'm going to type in the keyword jewelry. And here we have some suggestions down here. And again, we can preview these different templates. I'm going to select this template here. Then if you want to use this entire website template, come down and click on apply all five pages or you have the option to select individual pages that you want to use for your online store. Okay, so I'm going to head back. For me, I actually like this initial website template that I chose. All I need to do is make some customizations, add my own products, as well as add my own pages. Okay, so once you've chosen a template, let's start customizing our website. Each of the elements on your pages you can customize. Simply click on each of the elements and you'll notice these formatting options up above. For example, I'm going to click on this text element here and then change this content. And I'm happy with this change, personalized jewelry handcrafted to inspire. We can also make this content larger if we like by simply dragging out the sides or we can navigate up to the sizing options up here. We can also leverage AI to help us write content. However, this is only available on Canva Pro. Okay, next I'm going to navigate up to this logo and this is actually a text element. So I'm going to delete this, then navigate over to uploads on the left hand side and upload an image. And here's the white logo that I want to use. Then click on the logo that you just uploaded and rearrange that logo. Simply play around with the sizing as well as the positioning and I'm happy with that. I'm actually going to move it over slightly and there we go. Now for those that currently do not have a logo, what I'll do is add a Canva tutorial up above and down below in the description, which will guide you through the process of how you can create your own logo using Canva. Next, I want to replace this image here. To do that, I'm going to navigate over to photos and then search for jewelry. And this is where I can replace this image with a stock image. For example, let's say I like this image here. What I can do is simply click, drag, drop and replace. And that's going to replace the image with this new image. Again, if you have your own images, simply navigate up to upload and then upload your own images. For example, here's an image I want to use. Click on open and I'm going to navigate down to this page here and click on the image that I just uploaded and then drag and drop to replace this stock image. Now to preview what your website looks like, simply navigate up to preview. Navigate down the page and make sure that you have include navigation menu. This is going to add a menu up here. Now it's important to note that your Canva website is a single page website, meaning that if you click on a menu item, that's going to take you down to a different website section. So as you can see, these are our current menu items. Let's navigate back over to home 
and that's going to take us to this home page. Now, the advantage of a single page website is the ease of navigation for your users. Your website visitors can easily find what they're looking for. Okay, so how can we customize each of our menu items? Let's navigate up to close and then navigate down to this page here. If we click on this entire section and then navigate over to add notes, you can see that this is page three called products. I'm going to change this to featured and then quickly customize this page. I'm going to change the name. Now we can also change the font style if we like by navigating up here and choosing the font that we want to use. For me, I wanna use the default font on this website template. Again, down here, I'm going to replace these images by uploading my own. Okay, so I've quickly uploaded three images. Then all I'm going to do is drag and drop and replace the default images. Again, take the time to customize the default content. Again, I'm going to do the same here and also for this product title. So again, take the time to add your own content on each of your different pages. If I navigate down here, remember you can also change the page navigation in terms of the menu item by clicking add notes and then adding the page name up here. For example, why us? Let's navigate back over to preview and you can see we have two new menu items. We've got featured and why us? If I click on featured, that's gonna take us down to our featured jewelry page. Again, if I click on why us, that's going to take the user down to this why us page. Okay, so I'm going to close this and then navigate down to this page and then change the menu item from get in touch to contact us. Again, I'm going to come down and delete this, then navigate over to uploads and upload a dark version of my logo. Here's the dark version. Here's my logo that I want to use. All I need to do is resize and place that in the section I want to add that logo. Again, I'm going to change this default image by dragging and dropping an image. And then what we would do is take the time to make changes to this content here. Again, what you can do is add additional pages. For example, let's say I don't like this page. I'm going to simply click on the page and then click on this bin icon. And that's going to delete this page. Then what I can do is click on add page and then click on the page and navigate up to design and then add a new template page from the left hand side, or I can start customizing this new page from scratch. I can navigate over to the left hand side and add specific elements that I want to add to this page. I can also add text. These are the different text elements I can use. And again, you can upload your own images, draw elements if you like, as well as add stock images and stock videos. Again, I'm going to navigate up to design and click on this page here, and that page will be added. Now I want to change the background color. What I can do is navigate up here and use this color. Click on this color selection item and then use these document colors. I'm also going to navigate down to this element, delete this, then navigate up here, click here, control C, or I can click on duplicate and then simply drag this element down here. Again, I'm going to change the color of this text to this color here and then change the alignment to center aligned. I'm happy with that. Now let's add this new page to our menu navigation. Click on add notes and then add a page title, shop now. And then down here, I'm going to change this to shop all jewelry. And I'm happy with that. Again, navigate up to preview and preview your changes. Let's click on shop now. That's gonna take us to this section here. And then featured, that's gonna take us to featured products. You can also preview what your website looks like on mobile device. This is important to make sure that your content on your website is responsive across devices. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's click on close. Okay, so again, what you wanna do is take the time to navigate through each of your different pages and replace the default content with your own personalized content. And again, you can do that by simply clicking on each of the different elements. Now, what we wanna do is link our products to our website. So when a potential customer lands on our website and they click on one of our products, that's going to allow them to purchase that product. So how can we do that? How can we add products to our online store? Well, what you can do is use a free payment gateway called Stripe. Simply head over to your browser and type in stripe.com and that's gonna take you here. And this is one of, if not the most popular payment gateways for online stores. Let's go ahead and navigate over to pricing. Now Stripe is completely free to list and start selling your products. There is just a small charge per transaction. So this is important to keep in mind. However, it's a simple pricing model. You get access to a complete payment platform with simple pay as you go pricing. No setup fees, monthly fees or hidden fees. Now, if you currently do not have a Stripe account, come down and click on start now and navigate through the process of setting up your free Stripe account and I'll meet you inside your dashboard.
And here we are inside our free Stripe account. Now what we're doing inside Stripe is listing our products and creating a payment page, a checkout page that we can then link to our Canva online store. And to do that, simply navigate over to the left hand side and locate product catalog. Then click on add product, add the name of your product. And this is the first product that I want to add personalized vertical bar necklace. Come down and add a description. Then once you've added a description, it's recommended that you upload an image. Here's the product image I want to use. Then once you've added an image, choose your pricing option. Is it a reoccurring payment that you want to collect or a one-off payment? This is a one-off payment because we're selling this one necklace. Then add the product amount and then choose your currency and then click on add product. Then navigate through that same process of adding additional products if you like. I'm going to add two more products for the purpose of today's tutorial. Okay, so just like that, I've gone ahead and quickly added three more products. Once you've added your products, then what we want to do is navigate up to this plus icon to create and then click on payment link. Then choose the product that you want to add. And this is what your payment page will look like for each of your products. Then choose the customer's information that you want to collect. We want to collect the customer's address. We want to collect billing and shipping address. Here you want to choose the countries that you sell to. So take the time to add those countries or select all countries then come down and click on save. Then navigate over to add shipping rates. This is if you know your shipping rates or depending on your product, you might absorb the shipping rate price inside your retail price. We have these other options down here. Then navigate over to after payment. And here we have a few options once a customer has made a purchase on our website. Do we want to show a confirmation page, replace default with custom message, or you have the option to don't show a confirmation page and redirect your customers to your website. And you also have the option to enable this feature, create an invoice PDF. This allows an invoice to automatically be created following a purchase. Again, take your time to make your changes here. I'm happy with the default. Then navigate across. You can also preview what both the payment page and after payment page look like across devices. Then click on create link. Now, if you haven't done so already, simply navigate down to payment methods and add your different payment methods. As you can see, I collect card, Apple Pay and a link. And depending on the location that you're in and the countries that you sell to, you want to make sure that you're adding the correct payment methods. You can also enable Stripe tax if you like. Now, what we want to do is navigate over to this link here. Simply click on copy and that's going to copy this link and then navigate back to your Canva online store. And back inside our online store, all we need to do is link that payment page with our shop. For example, I created a payment page for this specific product. What I can do is right click, then navigate down to link and then paste in the link up here and then click on done and done again. Now, if a customer clicks on this image, that's going to take them to this product page where they can purchase this product. Now, I might want to also add a button to do that. Navigate over to elements and type in buy button. And that's going to take us to these different options. And we can choose one of these buttons. Now, most of these are paid. So what I'm actually going to do is navigate back up to the top and click here and right click, click on copy, navigate back down and then control V and paste this button. I'm going to make this smaller and then change this text. I'm happy with that. And then what I'm going to do is right click and then locate link and add the product link in here again. Okay, so once you've added the payment link for the specific product to a button image or other element like I just showed you, come down and click on done and then done again. Now let's go ahead and preview this. Navigate down to featured. And as you can see, we now have this buy now button. If I click here, that's going to take the website user, the potential customer to this payment page where they can add their details and purchase the specific product. And you can manage all orders inside your free Stripe account. Okay, so let's navigate back to our website preview. And again, if the website visitor clicks on this image, that will also take them to this payment page. Again, let's head back. Okay, so what you want to do is take the time to create those payment links that I just showed you for each of your products, then link those payment pages to each of your products. And you can link your products to either these images, text elements, or you can create a button like I did down here. Now to publish your website, simply navigate over to publish website, then come down and make sure you resize on mobile, include navigation menu. And then here we can customize our website URL with a free Canva domain. You can have up to five live websites to customize this domain. Simply click on edit and you can customize the slug as well as the last part of your domain. For example, the name of my website is gold and Garrett. 
You can also get a new domain by clicking here and you can connect a third party domain. This is if you already have a domain using a different domain provider, you can connect that domain with your new website or you can come down and buy a new domain and connect that with your online store. Now to connect a third party domain, you will need to upgrade to Canva Pro. Okay, let's close out of this and again, navigate up to publish website. Again, make sure all this information is correct then come down to publish settings. Then navigate up here and add a description about your online store. Golden Garrett is a personalized and handcrafted jewelry brand for everyone. Then when you're ready to publish your website online, you've chosen a template, you've customized each page of that template, you've added your own images, elements, and text, as well as connected your products from Stripe, then it's time to publish. Give Canva a moment to launch your website. And congratulations, just like that, your online store is now live online. Simply copy your website URL over here and you can share that with your audience, add it to your social media channels or add it to your different marketing campaigns. You can also view your website here. Now let's close out of this. Now to make changes to your website and to publish those changes, you will need to navigate up to edit design and then make your customizations. And once you've made those changes, navigate up to publish website. And then all you need to do is click on republish website. Now to unpublish your website, click on publish settings and then click on unpublish website. And there we have it guys. That is it for this Canva tutorial showing you how to build an online store for free using Canva and Stripe. Now, if you have any questions about this process, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.